Hey, so we've all heard the news that Tesla superchargers have up the amperage at the magic docks to 500 amps, which is making faster charging. Now, we're gonna go and find out if that's true. It's Friday, February 16th, 2024. Despite my Texas hat, I am in Massachusetts, heading down to Enfield, Connecticut. So let's get to it. Yeah, so Tesla has, you know, uh, it seems like, I don't know exactly when, there's probably people much smarter than me that know the answer to this, but it seems like uh, roughly a week or so ago, they raised the amperage that uh, will push through the magic docks to from 350 to 500 amps, which means you get some faster charging speeds. Now the Polestar 2 um, can only take 150 kilowatts anyway. And the funny thing is, a couple days ago, if you watched our video or my video about uh, Operation Kitty Cat, when we went to pick up a new cat, I went to the Magic Dock site in Brewster, New York, and I didn't even really need to go there and charge. I just, you know, I was going to be in the area, and it's like, of course I'm going to go to a Magic Dock if I'm anywhere near one. And, like, I rolled in there at, like, 46% state of charge, and I was pulling, I think it was, like, 140 kilowatts to start and like... 139, 140 kilowatts. And I was like, wow, these, these speeds are great. And it like totally slipped my mind that that was probably because Tesla had increased from 350 to 500 amps, which is super awesome, right? So last Saturday, because today's Friday, so this past Saturday, I was at the same Magic Dock site that I'm going to right now in Enfield, Connecticut. And the speeds are good. I mean, they've always been good. I mean, especially if you, you know, in relation to, like, what I would normally get in an EA station, which is oftentimes um, lucky to get even 90 kilowatts, um, usually get, like, 86. Um, so the Tesla supercharger has always been better. And I wasn't even, again, I wasn't even thinking about it last Saturday as far as, you know, the amperage changing. So, you know, I was like, well, it's Friday. It's a sunny day. It's cold out. Um, it's not very warm. It's like, well, 37 degrees. It's not like freezing cold, but it's chilly. And, um, I gotta, I gotta start my navigation. Otherwise it's not going to precondition. Um, it's not that far. So preconditioning probably is going to do that much to warm the battery up. Um, this is saying I'll arrive at 23% state of charge, which isn't again, like really, really low. It's not like out of spec low. Um, but it's kind of like, for most people, I think, that's what a lot of people probably would feel comfortable with. Although, like, when I had a gas car, I used to always, you know, fill up when I hit a quarter of a tank. And that just goes back to when I was a kid, my grandfather father always used to tell me, don't ever let your car get below a quarter of a tank. It puts too much, uh, you know, puts too much stress on the fuel pump. And it just always stuck with me. Wow, I don't even know if that was even... 1,000 feet, turn left onto Maple Road. I don't even know if that was true or not, but uh, I, I just always like had that in the back of my head that you fill up at a quarter of a tank. My wife, however, uh, would always go until the E light was blinking on her car. At the light, turn left onto Maple Road. And she'd be like, oh, I still have, I still have plenty of, I still have plenty of gas. Um, <laughs> which, you know, she didn't. So I did have a comment from somebody. I did have a comment from somebody the other day uh, on one of my videos that was basically saying the same thing. Like people, there's a lot of people that let their gas tanks get down to E before they bother to go, oh, I guess I should fill it up. Where that's not really a good idea with an EV. I mean, I think if you watch any of Kyle Connors videos, you'll see that there is, most EVs have a pretty, you know, decent buffer below zero but not like 30 miles of buffer you know like you need to get to a charger um so i'm sure there's a lot of people that even when they switch to an ev they'll be they'll be out of specking it all the time and getting down to like two one zero before they roll into a charger so in any event i'm preconditioning i'm not that far away so i don't know how much 
the battery will get warmed up. Now, when I went to the Magic Dock in New York uh, a couple of days ago, we were by the time we got to the Magic Dock, we had been on the road for like an hour and a half already. So the the car the itself. Mile, turn right onto George Washington Road, Geo Washington Road. Okay, so the car had already been uh, pretty warm. The battery should have been pretty warm, even though I was navigating to that supercharger. So the car at some point was probably started preconditioning however far out that it felt Take like it needed to do that. Take George Washington Road, Geo Washington Road. And, you know, so the battery should have been, you know, relatively toasty by the time uh, I got to that supercharger Continue location. On George Washington Road for two miles. Okay. So today, you know, I, I pre preconditioned the cabin of the car for like maybe five minutes. The car was in the garage and, you know, it's colder in the garage um, than it is in the house, obviously. I don't have a heated garage, but it's not as cold as outside. So um, still, the battery still got a little snowflake on it. And, um, you know, so it'll be interesting to see with less preconditioning on a fairly cold, it shouldn't be like freezing cold, but cold-ish um, battery, um, what kind of charging speeds we get like as soon as we plug in at that... Uh, at that supercharger. I'm going to be I'm going to be interested to see what kind of charging speeds we get right out of the box because like like I said, I got there, I got to the Magic Dock in New York at 46% and was pulling 140 kilowatts like right after I plugged in, which is for this car seems kind of high at that high of a state of charge. Usually I don't see those kind of speeds like past like 30, 35%. So um Anyway, it'll be interesting to see. I'll check in when I get there. It's super windy out, um, so uh, I probably won't do too much outside of the car. That's why I have my hat on, because just even I put the car in the driveway and went back in to get my bag, and I just coming out of the house into the driveway, like the wind was whipping around. It was crazy. So I will check in when I get to the supercharger in uh, about six minutes. Just plugged in, 23% state of charge. So let's see what we get here. 76, 77, 78. We're already past 350 volts, 199 amps, 200 amps. So now this makes me think that maybe this site has not been upgraded. There's only one other car here and it's like way at the other end. I'm on 3D, they're like on, I don't know, 1B. So only, only 82 kilowatt, 83 kilowatts, still going. It's still only 205 amps. So, yeah, I'm thinking this site must not be upgraded yet. So maybe it wasn't all the sites. Because this is roughly, well, I, when I came here last week, again, I was at a higher state of charge. I didn't even really need to charge, you know. And I, I, won't, I won't plug in if there's a lot of cars here, and, and there never are here. This, this, this particular site is not usually very crowded. There's usually no more than one or two other vehicles here, and it's, I think, a 12-stall site. But um, I, So I, I didn't really need to charge then, and I think this is probably, like, where I was. I thought I was a little higher. I'll have to go back and look. But, you know, to be a 26% state of charge and only pulling 83 kilowatts at 205 amps, that's kind of low. So... I'll charge up a little bit. What I was hoping to be able to do was to do a test. I wanted to see like if this site was gonna crank up the amps, um, then I was thinking maybe uh, I wanted to test like how long does it take to get from 
you know, that 23% to like 60 because, you know, if you're on a road trip, that's roughly what you're going to do. You don't, you know, need to charge to, you know, 80% or 100% on a road trip. You usually just, you know, you roll in, you charge up to like 60, 65% move on. Uh, but I'm not going to test, I'm not going to time that today and I don't even need to charge that far, but I'll give it a little, a few minutes and see if it kicks up at all. But this is somewhat disappointing. Anyway, I'll check in again. Yeah, so I was just looking um, from uh, a couple days ago when I was at the Magic Dock in uh, Brewster, New York. I peaked at 141 kilowatts and 338 amps at 412 volts. Okay, so that's what I was thinking. I was thinking it was over 400 amps, but that doesn't. I, I knew that didn't sound right. So it got close to that 350 amp limit, but I don't think this car is going to, you know, can really take that, so, yeah, um, actually, yeah, 141 kilowatts, 342 amps, 411 volts, that was the peak from, uh, from just a couple days ago in Brewster, New York, now here at Enfield, Connecticut, um, I'm still sitting at 86 kilowatts at 31 percent state of charge, and 209 amps and 407 volts, so, hmm, interesting that, you know, at 48% state of charge a couple days ago, I was pulling 141 kilowatts at 342 amps. And today, rolling in at 23% state of charge when I got here, uh, 86 kilowatts is the, the highest it's gone. So this site now is like an Electrify America site, I guess. So I don't know. Um, hmm, interesting. And it's actually roughly the same temperature that it was uh when I was in New York as well. So it's not a temperature thing. So a little disappointing because like I said, I, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to sort of time how long it takes to go from, uh, from like 23% to 60, like roughly a 20, 20 to 60%, um, charge time. But I guess I'm not gonna be able to do that because yeah, 86 kilowatts, 209 amps. I'm just sitting there. It's like, up to 33% state of charge now, so I'll give it to about 40%, and uh, if I don't see it kick up at all, I don't see why it would. If it's not that high now, I don't, I don't think it's going to ramp at a higher state of charge, <laughs> so yeah, that's a little disappointing. So, you know, I guess maybe that's the message that maybe not all the sites have been upgraded to 500 amps yet. Um, yeah. Not sure, but because um, I don't think this is a version two. This is a V three, and it's got a Magic Dock on it, so it has to be a version three. I don't think they put Magic Docks in any V twos, so yeah. Oh well. Yeah, I'll check in before I leave. Oh, one other thing to note that I forgot to mention earlier: I wasn't sure if I was even going to be able to charge here. I pulled up, I moved, I I backed up to a stall. Um, I think it was two C and it wouldn't unlock the magic dock. It kept saying it would, but i pull on it, nothing would happen, and then eventually just the regular NAX connector would pull out. Like the magic dock wouldn't, it wouldn't unlock. It's the first time that I've ever had that happen. I think I've seen, like heard of some other people, maybe once or twice, maybe that's happened. I don't know, it's the first time it happened to me. And then, uh, so I just moved to a different stall and it worked um, just fine, but it was weird. So I, I thought maybe at first I wasn't even going to be able to charge. So uh, maybe there's something else going on with this site that um, there's other issues besides just the uh, the amperage level. So anyway, I, I didn't want to forget to mention the fact that I almost couldn't charge. So anyways, I'll check in at, uh, I think I'm going to go to 45%. I'll check in at 45 well, I uh, just hit 45% state of charge and still at 86 kilowatts, 208 amps, 411 volts. So it's pretty much been plateaued at 86 kilowatts for the last several minutes. Um, that's basically the highest that I've gotten. So that's kind of weird. I, I'm going to have to go back and look. Like the last time I was here to look at the video to see. I can't remember if I record. I'm pretty sure I recorded where I was. This seems like the slowest I've ever seen here at this particular charger. Like at this low state of charge, I know that I've gotten more, 
more juice than this before. So I don't know if there's something else going on with the site because I was just looking um, online and it seems like, at least from what I'm seeing on the internet, that um, Tesla updated all the Magic Dock sites to the 500 amp limit. Um, so if that's the case, why isn't this one... Why isn't this one uh, giving me more juice? I don't know. So one of those things. I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure Kyle Connor could probably tell me why, because he probably knows more about this stuff than just about anybody. Maybe Tom Malogny too. But um, yeah. So for me anyway, 86 kilowatts, best that I'm going to get, I guess. So um, yeah, I'll probably uh, unplug now and head on home, because uh, I don't need a lot of juice right here and. There's still hardly anybody here, but I'll just head out. All right. Talk. Yeah, so that was, um, that was somewhat disappointing. Um, I was really hoping to, uh, to see some good charging speed and to time it, but uh, at least for, you know, for other Polestar owners out there, be able to see, uh, you know, roughly 20 to 60 on a Magic Dock. But uh, I guess it was not meant to be today. Um, I'll have to come back and try on a different day. Maybe, um, maybe there's just something going on with this particular, or with that particular site today. I don't know. Um, but I did, uh, for anyone who watched one of my other videos about, uh, um, where I ordered a, uh, Nax to CCS adapter from A to Z EV, the one that, uh, Tom Malogny was talking about. He had the CEO on. I think he had the CEO from, um, forget the other company that makes these uh makes those adapters i have one of their like uh ac adapters anyway a2z uh nax to ccs adapter has shipped so it's on the way um i should have it hopefully mm, tuesday wednesday next week roughly I'll have to track it again see where it's at um and i'm going to bring it back to the site like i'm sure it won't work um, but at a Magic Dock site where it already has the Tesla adapter, I'm sure there's something in there that it knows. It's a Tesla Nax to CCS adapter. It locks on. But I'm going to be interested to see that if I just, like, pull up and see if I just plug it in, like, what will happen? I, I know it won't work, but I, I just want to mess around with it anyways because it will be fun. But So, anyways, that's coming. Um, and, you know, the whole supercharger network is getting ready to open up pretty soon so uh that's pretty exciting but um disappointing today because i didn't get the the speeds that i was looking for so maybe next time in any event i'll see you guys later and remember evs are awesome and it's okay to be awesome even when things don't necessarily go the way you want see you next time listen A lawnmower car. Who thinks that sounds good? Seriously. That sounds so lame. I don't know. I'd rather just the quiet hum of an electric motor. But maybe that's just me.